An ambidex gate has four. Oh dear. <laughs> huh? What's going on? Maybe someone from another team opened one of them. They must have found a moon card. <laughs> well, why the hell would they go and open the doors on their we own? We should get back upstairs. Whoever jumped the gun is probably in the warehouse. Right. Okay, let's go. So we now know where the input device is for the bomb. Or for the thing that we use to deactivate the bombs or whatever. Oh no no! Input device plugs into each bomb to deactivate. Got it. But the only thing is we have yet to get the bomb 2 password. We have bomb 0, bomb 1, and bomb 3. So we need 2. We left out of the mag magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Tamyoji, Dio, and Clover. <gasps> Dio's outside. Oh wait, no. He was he opened he was the one who opened it, but he didn't go inside. Hey! What the hell is this? Why'd you open one of the AV rooms before the rest of us got back? Clover and I haven't done anything. Dio didn't feel like waiting, I guess. <laughs> Fuck you, Dio. You got a problem? Yes, you stupid boop boop. Yes. Yes, I do have Why? a problem. I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AB rooms. Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was common sense. Sigma's right. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. What if they can't get back in time? No sooner were the words out of her mouth. Oh, thank goodness. You're all here. Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see? He... What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. This condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Tamyoji shoved Kay aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks and then ran off after him. Have we done this already? Oh. This all sounds familiar. Oh, well, I mean, like, obviously it's familiar because he's fucking clouds up obvious things, but like... Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. There we go. Radical six. Oh my god. You mean in the control room? All that had was a bunch of stuff for controlling the generator. What did I miss? What did he say? Wait, hold up. Adam says there's an anti- Okay, where is it? It shouldn't be in the infirmary somewhere. We looked around, we didn't see anything. I don't trust the damn thing you say. I'm asking Luna. I'm sorry, but Dio's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. Damn it, what about the other rooms? Oh, right, so they haven't been in the lab yet. You mean in the control room? All that- All that had was a bunch of stuff for controlling the generator. I don't think anyone would put medicine there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the archives. Archives? Books and so on in abundance, but no medicine. Archives? Have we been in the archives? Oh, God. He's, archives. He's going to. Oh God, no. Archives. Archives. Look, just to be sure, where did the three of you go? Some place called the Bee Garden. Isn't that place dope? It it's was out, kind it of looks like, like a outdoors. park with trees and stuff. Yeah, it was fucking dope. But yeah, no medicine. Maybe some medicinal plants. Tamyoji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! Is this just gonna oh, do the, the killing thing? Alright, yeah, that's fine. Where's Alice? Is Alice already dead? Oh, there she is. Oh my god. Uh, I forget. No one's here, huh? Damn, where did she go? No point in complaining. I just needed to look somewhere else. Lou, I turned and headed towards the exit. What, what's new about this? We end up filing Alice in the the bee garden, right? Is that what it was? Have you had have you headed there yet, Sigma? I think that was where it was she was last time. And if I had found her archives. Oh, I, this is the room that sounded unfamiliar to me. Archives. What the fuck is that thing on the left? What is that cursed doll? That looks fucked up. So this is the archives, huh? Okay, Quark and Alice had searched this room. Uh, I don't like how that thing looks. Is it a lion? Damn, nothing here either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad. If she loses it like Quark did, and nobody's around to stop her. 
gonna kill me. Shit, I need to hurry. Oh, I'm so curious about this room. I decided to try the garden where Clover, Tamyoji, and Dio had gone after passing through the door. Let's see if she's there. My butt's tired from sitting. Ah, how serene. The first thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere, and the air was filled with the fresh scent of it growing, underlaid with the sweet dry tones of dead leaves underfoot. While the air outside had been dry and harsh, in here it was warm and wet, like a forest after a spring rain. Just like Clover said, plants and stuff everywhere. Oh, Alice. Alice? Alice isn't here, I guess. I walked slowly down the path, still slight slightly stunned. Most of the facility had been cold, dull metal, but this room was positively verdant. Man, hard to believe there's something like this here. What the hell is this even for? As strange as the garden was, Alice needed to be my priority. I reined my thoughts back in and continued down off the path and into the grass. Alice? I had only gone a few steps when I stopped short. Oh, were we too late? Oh no, they're still here. Okay, cool. Alice! Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. Huh? I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to take her to the infirmary. Then she's... alive? Wait. Yeah. What? This is new? Breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. So she's just unconscious? Looks like it. Oh, what about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Hmm. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Right. Wait, hold on. There's something I need to tell you. What's Just up? stay calm. Look what? to the right. Is it a bomb? My right or your right? Your right. There it is, on the tree. What the hell? This this is a bomb. Exactly. Was Dio here? Well, who was Dio with? Dio was with... Oh, Dio was with Clover and Tamyoji, I'm guessing, right? And they were here in the garden? Okay, makes sense. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Mm. Look at the number on the side. One. It says one. The one in the crew quarters says three. Shit. Then there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying that there's a number two bomb out there somewhere? I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it. That means we're talking about an explosion the size of three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who said it? Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio investigated the garden. There's also a chance someone else said it. Anyone could have come here after they left and before we showed up. Anyway, we need to move Alice. Help me out here. Alice was lighter than I is this Oh my god, this is not- Alice is lighter than I expected, and Fai and I managed to set off towards the infirmary with our first trot. Let me skip. Oh, we're in the infirmary. Let me skip. God dang it. What's new? What is new, pushy cut? Alright, please pay attention, everyone. She you has radical sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, finished scanning Alice. Yeah. What did it say? God damn it. Her results are identical to Quark's. Yeah, she has radical she has six. We know, we know. Yes, 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 yes. yes, we know. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Wow, I can't believe it. I had called everyone else back here after I'd brought Alice to the infirmary. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh no. No! Come What's on. going to happen to her? But we've done this. What's new? Like I said before, there's only one way to cure radical six. It's a special antiviral treatment. Whether or not there's any around here, though. No! No! Oh, Alice, I don't want you to die. Please, please don't die. I don't want to be alone. Don't die. <laughs> Is it because we haven't found the Excel up here? Who had, who's supposed to find the Excel up here? Who went to the lab? Wait, no, any of you motherfuckers went to the lab? Clover wrapped her arms around Alice's unconscious body and began to sob. This didn't happen, I think, last time. None of us had the heart to pull her off, and all we could do was stand and watch her uncomfortably. Ten minutes. All play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Uh, guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. 
Oh, what about Alice and Cork? I guess we're just gonna have to leave them behind. No! I'm not leaving! Clover. I'm staying here! Like heck I'm gonna leave Alice all alone! She's going to be fine. I gave her some Soparil. She'll just be sleeping like Cork. I don't care! I just... I just want to stay with her. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. She's with Cork. Whatever. She can do what she wants. Huh? I see. Dio and Tenmyoji's opponent in the next AB game is Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally. Which, I don't think I need to mention, would be pretty favorable for Dio. If she stays, he's got an easy round. Whoa, what are you saying? You think I'm gonna choose Betray? Yeah, I do. Am I wrong? Yes, of course I'm gonna pick Ally. Yeah, For one, sure Tenryoji's you are. gonna be in there with me. I can't just ignore his opinion and make my own choice. Sure Bryce? you can't. No, I won't be going. <laughs> I can't well, Quark here when he's like this. Oh well, I'll okay, you're just, just you're just like gonna Clover. doom Clover. Hey, come on now. What is this? A Clover? Maybe maybe Tamyoji can stay here and Knock Clover it go? off, Dio. He's too smart to let you make a scapegoat out of him. What the hell? Why are you so suspicious of me? Because you're due to poop. Um, yes? What if Dio stays behind too? If Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio all don't vote, then everyone allies, right? Where's the note saying that one at least one person has oh, to vote? You don't know? Oh, no now we know. Now this? we know. Okay. You didn't find a note like this one? Okay, huh? there it is. Wait, what's this? We found it in the archives. Well, there sure as hell wasn't anything like that in the garden. Where did these rooms come from? How are there still rooms that we haven't we didn't been find to find them in the control room either. These archives? Well, we know the bee garden. Hmm. I guess we just haven't been through these doors yet. That's so weird. Apparently, only the archive had one. <laughs> Why? Well, what does it say? It for us, Sigma. What? I don't. My God, I need to like look at the map. But even if I looked at the map, it wouldn't make sense. I took the note from him and still slightly confused, began to read. How are there still doors that we haven't been to? Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then everybody gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of the three has to vote. You see? At least one member of each trio must vote. Otherwise... That means Kay has to vote. Quark and Alice certainly aren't in any condition to. If he doesn't, all three of them are screwed. Wait a second. Kay's got six BP right now. He going ball His trend. opponent is gonna have to default to ally. That means if K chooses betray, he's gonna have nine points. You needn't worry. I have every intention of choosing ally. Oh, give me a break. You expect us to just swallow your bullshit? Oh dear. Dio, please, think for a moment. You do realize that Alice currently only has one BP, don't you? If I were to betray her, what would happen? She died. I am not so desperate to escape that I would be willing to kill. Therefore, I will definitely choose ally. Indeed, I really have no choice. Unless, of course, I wish to become a murderer. Sigma wouldn't Five do that, minutes. would you, Sigma? We don't have time to argue about this. There's only one solution. Clover, go. You're going to have to go vote for us. Yes. Huh? What does that mean? What, did I use big words? Huh? It means this! I'd never seen someone move that fast before. Let alone someone as old as Temyoji. In the blink of an eye, he covered the few feet between himself and Dio and slammed a close fist in the other man's chest. Oh, he just <laughs> fucking- Yeah, boy! It's what someone should have done from the beginning. Dio fell to his knees, wheezing for air. Temyoji waited a half a second to make sure he was down and turned to look at Clover. He's not gonna stay down forever. Get out of here, Clover. B but You and Kay are in the same position now. I've only got one BP, just like Alice. Interesting. Oh, was Tenmyoji paired with Dio? So long as Tenmyoji doesn't vote, Clover's only choice is to choose ally. Hmm. Admittedly, there is a chance she might kill me. Are... Are you saying you trust me with your life? That's about the size of it. Well, what the hell are you standing around for? Get! You don't need to worry about Alice. I'll keep a good eye on her. I promise. Now get moving! You still don't trust me. Oh my god, Clover. Oh my god, you're no, always so fucking hesitant. That's not it at all. I trust you. I just... 
Oh my god, just fucking go. She's always all so like, huh? What? We need to go. Come on. Okay. Take care of Alice. She'll be fine. Look at Temyoji. Punching the shit out of an idiot. That seemed to finally satisfy her, and we were off. We ran as fast as we could, leaping through doors and tearing through rooms on our way back to the warehouse. Because they're gonna slow the fucking doors open. Shit. You're, you guys are lucky that plot progression doesn't take that into consideration. Everybody ready? Yeah. You've all got a moon card, right? Yes, we do. Good. Now let's go. Um, I forget who was Luna. Fine. Four AB gates yawned open as we swipe our cards. The fifth one, the D1 D had opened, stayed empty. The sixth, which had been Alice's, remained unopened. Kane and Clover quickly entered the second and third from the right, and Luna and I headed towards our own. Oh, I'm hold Luna. on a minute. What is it? You're going to choose Ally, right? Yeah. Why do you ask? Of course we are. You promise? Sure. I promise. Cross your heart. Cross my heart. You're gonna be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. Don't sweat it. I'm a man of my word. For now. Vi frowned but said nothing and disappeared into her own AB room, the second from the left. Actually, what is the flow right now? Ally and betray, right? Okay. Well, they stopped short, so. Luan and I nodded to one another and headed for the last one, the leftmost room. One minute. Rem what are you going to do? Well, I don't have a choice, do I? I promised. I said I'd choose Ally. Yes, but... Phi has six BP. If she betrays us... Yeah, she'll have nine points. I know. Right. What do you think we should do, Luna? I... It's your decision, Sigma. I'll be in the same position either way. What? You have six BP too, don't you? That means if we betray Phi, and she chooses Ally... Then I would have nine points. Yes. You see? In either case, I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. Twenty seven. Yeah. That's it. We don't have any time left. You have to make a choice. I don't think there's ever been an instance where Luna has been like, pick betray. And when an option, when the opportunity does arise, she'll just be like, oh, I'll leave it to you. <laughs> Are you sure this is okay with you? Yes. All right. I turned to face the machine. Ten seconds. Re what am I gonna choose? Nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Yeah, 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 Luna and I stepped out of our AV room a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection, awaiting the announcements of the results. You chose Ally, right? Are you sure that was okay? Yeah. What else was I gonna do? I promised. It'll be fine. I'm sure Fi chose Ally really? too. Really? No, not really, but come on, what's with you? Do you not trust Fi? No, that's not what I mean. It's just... Uh, let's just go have a look, shall we? Why are we even talking about this? We'll know what happened in just a few seconds. You're right. Let's go. Luna is much too gentle. That makes her the most suspicious. Results from please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Dio? Oh yeah, Dio got knocked out. I forgot. Oh, good for Kay. Bye. Ah, damn it. We were, we were doing so well. Everyone was so fucking ed. God damn it, Fi. You ruined it. Points, please. Hey, 
What the hell is this? Why'd you choose Betray? I thought we promised. We? I don't remember that. What? You promised me. You said you'd choose Ally, but I don't recall promising you anything. I was free to choose whatever I wanted. Uh, hold on. You should have seen this coming. I told you I'd make you pay. And now I am. Make me pay? What did I do last time? Huh? I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about. What did I do last time? You reap what you sow. This is your fault. You chose Betray first. First? Do you mean in round one? No. I mean the first round two. The first round two? I, 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 what, the first round two? The first round two. Well, for what it's worth, I've been picking Ally every single time first. So... Be quiet. Uh, have you lost it? Take a real good look at the results up there. This is round two. My vote was ally. Yours was betray. I didn't betray you. I've never betrayed you. Yes, you have. Remember? Oh, don't lie to me, Sigma. What? Drop the act. There's no way you don't know by now. Know about what? What's happening to you? The strange things you've been seeing. Do you mean the... Premonitions? I wanted to say it, but as the word formed itself in my mouth, I felt a tingle along the back of my neck. Someone was looking at me. I turned around to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. What are the two of you talking about? It's nothing. Forget about it. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You were the only person who chose to betray this round. Is there some connection to what you and Sigma were discussing? Yes, there is a... connection. But you wouldn't believe me. You don't know that. We might believe a lot. Bai looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance, and I could see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. Huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Through the number nine door. Hey! Wait! She wasn't even running. <laughs> but we're running. I scrambled around in front of her and threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. No! I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were the kind of person who ditched the rest of us so you can get away. When someone betrays your trust, feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. The trees are- Wait, are you saying- Whatever. Just get out of my way. No, I'm not moving- I see. Then you leave me no choice. As she spoke, Phi bent down. There she goes, goodbye. Why is she always floating? <laughs> I don't- How did she do it? Then shot up into the air and over my head. I spun around to see her standing next to the number 9 door, her hand on the lever. Whatever. Nice Ew. try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. It's an explanation as to why she Body just tag. float. Acta est fabula. What is that, Latin? What the hell is that? It's Latin. For Applaud. what? The play has ended. Okay. That's what it means. Alright. Latin. See you later. Wait! Stop! A bolt of searing light roared through my brain. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. To be continued. What? What? What is this end to be continued? What is there to continue? What? How do we stop Phi? Oral? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and betray her. Yeah, Luna, don't listen to me. I'm just gonna betray.
Don't don't worry about it, fam. Promise. Psh. Now it's time. And then, and then Sigma can be like, "Well, you betrayed me first, so I'm going to just get re you reaping what you sowed." You know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember when I betrayed. Like, when did I choose? When did I betray her first? You know? It it must be during a like a route. I must have betrayed her. I just don't remember it. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room a little later than the others. Or blah, blah blah blah. So you chose betray. Yeah. Did you do it to protect yourself? Were you worried that Phi might choose betray? That's a good question. Huh? I'm honestly not sure myself why I did it. Well, we should go see the results. I want to see how Kay and Clover voted. Right. Let's go then. Results from round plea. What we got, what we got, what we got. Back it up, back it in. Let me begin. Ally, 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 betray. Ally, of course. So here's the thing, Miss Fi motherfucker. You chose betray first. Points have been assigned. <laughs> Your stupid argument is now voided. Please. Or your, your, I guess your argument has since been void, like null and voided, but. Well played, Sigma. I guess a promise means a lot to you. It meant fuck you. I had nothing to say. She was right. I'd broken a promise. Why did you do it? I. I'm a bitch. You did it first. Nothing to say? I don't get it. Did he not remember? Like I don't like were were the expect were the expectations that you were gonna do this first or something like go in the backwards order or something like it just doesn't it doesn't make sense. I guess I misjudged you. Ugh, I thought you were better than this. Oh stop it! That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Elapsum semel occasionum, non ipse potes Jupiter, reprehendere. Yeah, go ahead, speak your Latin. Like, what you just- I don't know it. What's that? A Latin proverb. What does it mean? Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Jupiter is a Roman god. Actually, he's kind of THE Roman god. He's in charge of all the others. Since when? Not even Jupiter, the ruler of the gods, can take back what's been done. You did okay. something bad. You're not gonna get a chance to take it back. If you say so. I turned away from Phi. I couldn't stand to look at her anymore. In front of me were Kate and Clover. Their eyes bored into me with cold disapproval, and I looked away. They both chose an ally as promised. The only person who betrayed anyone was me. The only person with 9 BP was me. Little wonder I wasn't very popular. What do you intend to do? You aren't thinking about trying to open the number 9 door, are you? For a moment, I considered the unthinkable. Could I break through them and reach the door? Once I was through, I'd be out of the game and free from their judgment. But... No, I couldn't do that. How could I possibly justify leaving them all behind so I could escape on my own? Why had I chosen Betray? In my memories, it seemed like an almost flippant choice. As if I'd just been curious to see what would happen. If Betrayal was what I wanted, I should have made that choice with commitment. But there I was, and I couldn't turn back. Even if I did try to open the number 9 door, they would also be suspicious of anything I did. Trust is easy to break and hard to repair. Unless I could somehow turn back the clock, I was stuck with the consequences of my action. Elapsum not yeah, even not Ju Jupiter, yeah, yeah, yeah. How could I do something that was beyond the, only the reach of a god? Why hadn't I just chosen an ally? What would be happening to me right now? Uh, you would be mad at Phi. What if... What if... What if... Then Phi spoke, and I blinked. Sigma, we're just doing this to be safe. Are you gonna knock me out? We can't let you run around with 9 BP. I'm afraid you're going to have to sleep for a little while, okay? Huh? I started to turn around, but it was already too late. I felt a heavy hand slam onto the back of my neck. And then everything went dark. This is so rude. You didn't do this to anybody else who had 9 BP. Well, is that game over? What a lousy ending.
Especially considering that Fi was blaming me for doing it first, even though I didn't do it first. But no, 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 never. So, oh, we can go back. So then what the hell are we waiting for? Let's go in there, bitch. Let's stop her. Oh, is this where at the part where I'm gonna be like, no, you betrayed me first, you stupid bitch. You <laughs> well, chose Ella, right? Are you sure that was okay? Oh, what? I thought there was a skip. You Find sound it too. pretty sure of yourself. Oh, it's not confidence. What? I already know. Oh! I see. I get it. I get it. We'll know pretty quick whether I knew anything okay, or not. Okay, let's go. I get it. I get it. Because she also was like... Actually, I don't know why. Oh, I guess because she she found out that we didn't betray her. Please. Please. But it sounds like we wouldn't have... Let's see. No, she betrayed. So what? What? Oh, there's nothing new about. Them. What the hell, Fi? Why'd you choose betray? You chose ally before. I see. So you remember it too. Uh, so th was the idea was it make they make it sound like I was supposed to do betray first? But why would I do that? It's so weird that that would be what they expect you to do. The other round two. Yeah. What? That wasn't even close to the response I, response I expected. It felt anticlimactic. Hey, hold on a minute here. You, you know? You remember how I cho chose Betray last time in round two? Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose Betray this time? Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay? Yeah, I do remember that. Then this is you making me pay? Yes. But you did it for- but- but- did, what- huh? I feel like that's just like a slight misstep or something in the story. Wait. Wait. No. No, that didn't make any sense. Something wasn't right. How could we both know about an earlier round two? How could there have been an earlier round two? Was it some sort of alternate history? What the hell was I thinking? That was conspiracy theory shit. Even if there was some sort of alternate timeline or universe or whatever, there was no way I could have known what had to happen in it. No way I could have known- at least I didn't think there was any way I could know. But if I could, then how? I remember Fi choosing, Fi choosing ally and then scowling at me when I broke my promise and swearing revenge. That was not a sm- I won't forget- Laura Ibsen, blah blah blah, okay. Why did I know that? Perhaps more importantly, why did Fi remember it? What the hell did any of this mean? It had happened before, hadn't it? During round one of the AB game, when I was playing against Alice. I'd seen something. Fi and I had chosen Betray. But for some reason, I'd seen a reality where we had chosen Ally instead. Suddenly, I realized that it wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. They all began to speak at once. What happened? Why did you choose Betray, Fi? Yeah, you're the only one who didn't vote Ally. Fi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, mind working, finally she sighed and spoke. Right. So s Now, is anything changing here? I felt myself I, I felt myself speaking before I even knew what the words were. Epsilon semel occasionum non ipse potus Jupiter fuck whatever. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Are you sure this is how you want it to end? What about the notary game? Zero? The bombs? We still don't know the truth about any of it. If you leave now, we never will. Is that really what you want? Fine. Great, so do we knock you out then? <laughs> if I slowly let go of the lever. Why'd you do that, you dumbass? <laughs> What's a dumbass? <laughs> Look. I'm sorry about betraying you. I'm honestly not sure why I did it. I only did it because she did it first. Like, I, like, I, I, am I doing something wrong? It's a story not taking into consideration that I didn't do that first? Like, forget about it. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. I just wonder, like, why? I think we're even. I, whatever, I don't know. Uh, what are you talking about? They, they, she existed in the, in the timeline that I wasn't in. That's why maybe I fucking whatever. When did you betray her? 
Are you talking about round one? No. We aren't talking about round one. We're Just drop it. There's no point. I doubt they'd understand even if you did tell them. Yeah. You're right. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I don't get it. Well, at least it seems Fi has decided to remain. Yeah, so now it's time to knock her out like you, you did really me, remember? <laughs> they wouldn't remember. Yeah, I'll stick around a little longer. Like he said, I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. The AV game will continue until someone opens the number 9 door. If someone reaches 9 BP and doesn't open the door, the game will keep going. Oh man, that's a relief. Please don't scare us like that again. Sun. Round three. Sun. Our stars, the whatever. What? Yeah, 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 okay. As many times as we want, huh? Then that as means- As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. Didn't Zero what? Jr. say something about that? As soon as the gate color shuffle, yeah, 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 okay, okay. It's fine. Oh, yeah. What are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm a red solo. I'm a magenta pear. Me too. I'm a solo. That means we'll be a team this time. I think we'll do great. Haha, <laughs> hooray. Haha, yeah. haha, <laughs> I'm Who's always gonna be nice. my partner then? I'm a cyan pear. They do not appear to be here. I, for instance, am a yellow pair. Huh? Wait a sec. If Luna and Clover are a magenta pair, Fi's a cyan pair and Kay's a yellow pair, what the hell am I supposed to partner up with? The cyan pair, I imagine. Fi and her mysterious partner. How do you figure that? Sigma, what colors are added together to create cyan? Uh, green and blue, right? What color would you get by adding your red to that? Red, green, and blue would be white. Sure, exactly. I would never, I would never know. <laughs> so you're saying the next set of chromatic doors are going to be white? Yes. How do you know? Because I have seen them. After leaving the archives, we found a warehouse very similar to this one. In it was a set of white doors. Well, to be precise, a set of doors which radiated white light. <laughs> Smack means fucking nothing to me. I don't even know why they bother showing it. Yeah, I saw him too. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. Oh my god, we don't need to see this. This is literally the same fucking path that we saw Kay moving, apparently. This is literally the same fucking thing. What? <laughs> to show it twice! <laughs> they had the same little lock thingies. I'm 100% sure they're the next chromatic doors. What about the people back in the infirmary? Do they know about the white doors? Yes. If we exclude Quark from their number, then I believe they do. As far as pairs go... Oh, whoops, sorry. I completely missed my line. I wonder what colors they are. We're missing a cyan and a yellow. If Sigma's a red solo, then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'm going back to the infirmary. I'm kind of worried about Alice and Quark. I'll go too. As will I. Shouldn't we all go? Oh, that's right. Wait, guys. There's something I need to tell you. Huh? What is it? Go on. I meant to say something earlier, but I guess there was just so much other stuff going on. I looked at Fi. She nodded back. There's a bomb. See, the truth is... What? True? What? Wh what? Oh no! What? You found another bomb? Oh, okay. I was like, they made it sound like they were saying that he was gonna say something else. Why did it have to fade to black? Yeah. Where? In the garden. No, that's not possible. We didn't see anything like that. Could you have missed it? No, no way. We checked every part of that room. Hmm. There was a number on this one too. It said zero one. 
Since the one we found in the crew quarters had 03 on it, well... You think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere? I think there's a good chance. Very well. We should split up and find this other bomb. It could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But even if we do find it, what are we supposed to do? That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely. All right. I'll head back to the infirmary and let everybody else know. Please. How about we set a time to meet back here, just in case? The time we have left until the chromatic doors open is... Let's see... Quite a bit, actually. One hour and 57 minutes. I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary. Acceptable? That sounds good to me. Right. I'll tell the others, too. Good. Let's go. For a second, I was like, where's Theo again? I forgot he could <laughs> knocked him out. So he's been- is he still out? Is he dead? Is he awake and just like, well, whatever. We've been here for a while. <laughs> So these are the white doors that Kay and Clover were talking about. Hold up. Oh. It's gonna end here, apparently. Or like, out soon. Yeah, there's the lock thing. No question, these are chromatic doors, I guess. So it seems. Oh my god. <laughs> what? When did you- I've been here the whole time. Well, oh, did we think that we were by ourselves? Oh, whatever, I don't know. S seriously? I didn't notice you at all. Oh. I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. <laughs> so, what do you want? Why are you stalking me? I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. That's pretty much the same thing. But how did you do it? You were totally silent. Are you Batman? <laughs> I already told you I'm not. Remember? Back in the AB room when we met? <laughs> yeah, actually. You also jumped super high all the way up to the ceiling. Right. Aren't you curious about that graffiti? <laughs> right. Anyway, <laughs> changing the topic. Graffiti? Right. Oh yeah, that. Memento Mori of the Ninth Lion Ate the Sun. Did a kid write that or what? Why do you say that? Well, they managed to spell ninth wrong. Who puts an E in there? You're right. Then again, maybe it means something. Wait, is this... Mm. Did we do this like at that very you know beginning? What it means? The Latin part. Oh, Memento Mori. Hey, now give me a little credit. I watched Unis Honest. Even I know what Memento Mori means. You see it all over the place. As far as I know, it translates to something like "Be aware of death" or "Remember your mortality." Never forget that we all die someday. I guess it's sort of a cautionary thing. What about the other part? It's exactly what it says on the tin, right? Some sort of conditional about lions and suns. Hmm. Anything come to mind? No, nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Me? Huh. Well, let's see. Memento Mori of the Ninth Line Ate the Sun. Memento Mori of the Ninth Line Ate the Sun. I repeated the words over and over in my head, but nothing. Whatever that I meant, it was beyond me. But perhaps Phi. Huh? Latin? Don't you know Latin? Maybe you can figure more of it out. Well, I know a little. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. Then how'd you know that phrase? Epsilon Simul Occasionum Nipsipotis Jupiter Repeter. Oh, that. That's from um this. This? She unpinned the brute from her chest as she spoke and held it out to me. Oh. I hesitated for a moment, then took it. Look at the back. I turned it over. Oh, <laughs> L. Elapsum semel occasionem non ipsip test Jupiter reprehender. I do know that when she said 
it, the word that looks like it Eupitir? She's I heard the J, so I assume that's how you say it, but so I guess the I is pronounced like a J and let up. <laughs> I just, just, just said it the minute I say it. Yeah. What is this? A memento of my late mother. Mother? Well, I guess it's something like a memento. What does that mean? She died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents, and they told me where the brooch had come from. Apparently, it was the only thing my mother had left behind. What about your father? Don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. Oh. I never saw his face, and I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. Is Temyoji your father? <laughs> oh no. Oh. I hope not. I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I just handed her back the brooch. That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. It got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Elapsum semel occasionum non ipsi protest Jupiter reprehendere. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. I guess but, so. It seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. Yeah, fuck Jupiter. Roman god of everything, Roman god of my ass. <laughs> That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this. Alone. Yeah. I agree. There's something else we need to do too, though. Find a number two bomb. Exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So... You're saying we should go somewhere else? Yeah. Well, come on, don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. Without waiting for a reply, she turned and started towards one of the exits. I followed. But... This route is so short. Is this really gonna be the place where we talk? About our jumping through timelines and shit? <laughs>